Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another what's for dinner slash cook with me type video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. Tonight I am making Skinny Taste Crock-Pot Balsamic Pork Roast. This is actually one of the kits that I put together in meal prep on Sunday. So the sides I'm having with this are just roasted potatoes and peppers, but I'm not going to be doing those right now. It's actually morning right now. I'm getting ready to head to work and I thought I would show you how quick this is and easy it is to throw it in the crock pot before you head out the door. So the first thing I have is my slow cooker that I've lined with a slow cooker liner. You don't have to use those. Honestly, usually I don't use these. Y'all know that I'm trying to work on not using so much plastic, but sometimes I do use those and I had some in there. So I'm gonna take everything out of my kit. I'm gonna leave the peppers and the potatoes in there because those, when I get home tonight, I'll just chop those up, put them on a pan, put them in the oven on 425 for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna get all my other stuff. So that's all I have. I've got two potatoes and two peppers in there. So that'll go back in my fridge. Then I have my seasonings for the pork roast. I have my mixture, which actually, this mixture is a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce with one third cups of balsamic vinegar. And then I'm gonna mix it with one third cups of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you want to. When I prepped this Sunday, this wasn't big enough to hold it in. And I'm just using canned chicken broth right now. So just mix that together. This calls for a two pound pork loin roast, but I, mine is actually two and a half pounds. This is actually a pork loin that I get from Sam's Club. I get the gray big pork loin, and like the whole pork loin, and I cut it into a roast and pork chops. I'm just gonna slide that down into the crock pot. Once it's in there, then I'm gonna sprinkle it with my seasonings. This is a mixture of just some salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this recipe is really good. This is a skinny taste recipe that I've had before, and it's really good. I'm gonna mix the liquids together. That gets poured over the top. And I can't remember if I said I did spray my liner with cooking spray. The last thing we're gonna do is add a tablespoon of honey. And just kind of drizzle that over the top of the pork. Now for the original recipe that calls for the two pounds of pork, it actually is enough for eight servings. So it's gonna be about four ounce pieces each and the points on this are gonna be five points on all programs. So now, depending if you're home or not, if you're home you, and you wanna cook it on high for four hours, you could do that. I don't, typically when I cook in my slow cooker, I always cook it on a low setting. So I'm gonna cook it on low. For low, it's six to eight hours. I'm gonna do the full eight hours because I'll be gone. So I'm just gonna set set it for eight hours. So again, this is Crock-Pot Balsamic Pork Roast, and this is a skinny taste recipe. I will link her recipe down in the description box below. So I'm gonna let that sit, and when I get home from work tonight, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, everyone. So I am home from work, and as you can see, the pork is already pulled apart. So my husband got, got here before me and decided he would help me out and he pulled the pork apart for me, which <laughs> I wanted to kind of show you all. So nothing to it though. You just take the roast when it's done and take forks and just pull it apart. So um, he actually just had a little bit of this. So he was really hungry uh, but this is what it looks like when it's done and i'm telling you it's really good so you can use this like get some little sliders and use pulled pork sandwiches i'm just gonna put mine on a plate with some sugar-free barbecue sauce and that's how i'm gonna eat mine 
So now, if you remember my little homemade DIY meal kit, I was doing roasted potatoes and peppers with this. So that makes it eight points on blue, five points on purple, and eight points on green. That's for the entire dinner, including the potatoes. That's everything for the dinner for each person. So I'm on blue, so my dinner is gonna be eight points. So here I have the potatoes, the two potatoes and the two peppers. I have an orange pepper, a green pepper, and then the two russet potatoes. I weighed the potatoes and they were a total of 10 pounds, not 10 pounds, they were a total of 10 ounces. It was actually like 10.2. I'm gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it even and say that it's 10 ounces. So for five ounces of potato, that is three points. So that's where I got the points on that bag when I said it was eight on blue, because I'm gonna have three points for my potatoes the pork, the way that it's made is five points for four ounces of it. Now I am gonna be weighing out a little bit more than four ounces because I have to take into consideration the all the liquids and everything that are in it. So normally what I would do when I make that is I would make it and then I would put the whole thing into a bowl and weigh the entire thing and then divide it by eight so that way I know exactly how much. But since my husband already took some out of it, I can't really do that. So I'm just gonna probably put maybe five ounces on a scale and I'll see what that comes out to. And it should be about right. So if you're on purple, like I said, this is only gonna be five points because you won't have to count anything on this tray. So on this tray, I have just taken my Misto and I spritzed it with some olive oil, and then, which I don't count. When I just spritz it with olive oil, I don't count that. And then I just seasoned it with some salt and pepper and I'm gonna put it in my convection oven on 425 for just until it gets roasted, uh, maybe like 30 minutes. All right, so here's my finished plate. So I have, that's four, that was actually four ounces. I was gonna put five ounces to account for some of the liquid, but that looked like plenty. So that's just four ounces, even with the liquid included. So that way I know I'm not over the five points. And then I have some raised, no sugar added hickory barbecue sauce at zero points. And then my potatoes and peppers. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.